guys, Jerem back again with the 11th creature feature from Reptile Rainforest and the North Grand Republic Library. This is going to be kind of cool. I want to show you the oldest resident from Reptile Rainforest, aside from myself, of course. Also, I'll catch you up on a, a few of the other creatures from previous creature features, and at the very end, a very fun surprise, so stick around for that. I would like to introduce you to Hearts. Hearts is a ball python. He is squirmier than usual today. And the reason that his name is Hearts, let's see if I can show you. Maybe you can see here. Yeah, there we go. See that? He has some hearts in his pattern. Now, when we think about pythons, we tend to think of a really large snake. And of course, uh, pythons are among the largest snakes in the world. So sometimes they really are uh, the true giants of the snake world. Ball pythons and many other species of pythons actually don't get very big. Uh, four and a half feet is pretty average for one of these guys. This snake you're looking at here is the oldest living resident of reptile rainforest at the moment at about mid 40s. I don't have an exact age, but mid 40s. The longest recorded living snake, I believe, is 52 years, and it is a ball python. All pythons pose no threat to human beings whatsoever. They can bite, of course, if they feel threatened. But a little bit about the nature of a constrictor snake, like a, a python or a boa. They only squeeze for prey. So if they think they can eat you, that's when they will squeeze. A snake like this obviously knows that we are not on the menu, we're not food. So if they get scared, they're not going to squeeze. The last thing they want to do is squeeze something that they're afraid of. So they get scared by a person, and this goes for any snake of any size, they will usually just send out a good nip. And in the case of a ball python, they're not dangerous at all, but they have those, you know, couple hundred teeth that are razor sharp, and they can give you a good bite for sure. So the good news is, uh, hearts here as a gentleman, and ball pythons in general are not interested in biting anybody unless they really feel threatened. And that goes pretty much the same with any animal. So this one is really quite special. Her name is Buffy, and she is also a ball python. She is an albino, and that means she's lacking all the dark pigment in her skin, and that's why she has that pretty yellow and white color. And if you look really closely, you can see that her eyes and her tongue are really pink too. Now, obviously, she would have a very hard time surviving in the wild because she's just way too bright. But in captivity, she's perfectly healthy. So back before I started my business, when I was just a hobbyist, I remember these guys, albino ball pythons, coming on the market, and they were around $7,500 American. And at that time, looking around maybe 13000 I think, Canadian, and that's a whole lot of dough, right? That's a lot of money. And there was no way I could ever afford something like that for anything, let alone a snake. So it just seemed so unattainable to me. And so many years later, when I actually hatched my first albino python, which is her that you're looking at right now, uh, it was so exciting to me, not because of the money, because the value has dropped to almost nothing. It's not about the money. It was the fact that it was that dream and the dream came true. And so that's why I since have started using her on my logo. It's not because I breed ball pythons. It's because it just shows that the reason why I got into this in the first place is the animals. And it's really exciting. Even when I see her now, I'm still kind of in awe of how beautiful she, she is. What in the world was that? Reptiles don't usually make noise. You guys hear that? Um, serious? Nobody ever calls me. Hang up on you. We are out here looking for Bigfoot. The day has come. We're going to do something risque on Creature Feature. And I'm going to keep talking like this if nobody minds. I wanted to revisit the baby scorpions that we saw a few episodes back just to show you this. And this, it's hard to focus in the video, unfortunately. I'll insert a photo, so hopefully you can see it a little bit better. But this is actually a shed skin from one of the babies. Maybe you can see the stinger. And it is really delicate. And this is a leaf, by the way, that it's attached to. 
And so it's very delicate. It's like tissue paper. So if I do touch it, it's very likely that it's going to break. So that's why I'm just keeping it on that leaf there for you guys to see. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's creature feature. Maybe you would enjoy another look at our old pal, Totosaurus Rex. Happy Canada Day, everybody. See you next time.